Greetings, lovers of mysticism and the unknown. Welcome to the Incredible Stories channel. We are explorers of the unexplainable and unbelievable. Today, I will tell you an interesting story. Brew up some goodies and enjoy. From strands of angel hair that fell from the sky in Florence to a dead alien pilot buried in an unmarked grave in Texas, here are the top stories questioning the fact that humans are the only intelligent beings in this universe. If you accept the idea that UFOs and aliens really exist, then you are not alone. According to polls, 36% of Zalians believe in the existence of intelligent life beyond the Earth. Among Americans, 68% hold similar views. And interestingly enough, these numbers continue to rise. But why do so many people believe in aliens, despite the lack of scientific proof and material evidence? Leaving aside the urban madmen and inveterate conspiracy theorists who have both the Earth is flat and reptiloids are members of the secret world government, stories about UFOs are often believed by quite ordinary people who are looking for meaning in the existence of the universe. In the 21st century, traditional religions have been replaced by secular theology, according to which aliens can be seen as more evolved beings who look out for us care for humanity, and want to help it rise to a higher level of existence. This is a kind of post-industrial version of the picture of the world in which angels, demons, and other biblical entities visited Earth. And it certainly has the right to exist. Belief in UFOs and aliens may also be an ordinary attempt of the human brain to make sense of the chaos going on in the world, to find reasonable explanations for things that are still incomprehensible to us. In any case, there are now thousands of stories of people who claim to have encountered or even interacted with alien entities. We will tell you about the loudest and strangest UFO incidents of the last 130 years. The first ever UFO crash, April 17, 1897. In 1897, an unidentified flying object, according to eyewitness accounts, shaped like a cigar, crashed into a windmill owned by Texas Judge J.C. Proctor. The incident was reported by the Dallas Morning News on April 19, two days after the alleged crash. The article also claimed that the pilot of the flying object was not of the human race. His remains were buried in an unmarked grave in a local cemetery, and the large wreckage of the ship was dumped in a deep well. There is speculation that the 1897 incident was just a hoax, an attempt to draw public attention to a small Texas town that had suffered greatly after a series of incidents, a fire, a cotton crop failure, a fever epidemic, and the cancellation of a railroad station project that was supposed to help the town's economy. So was there a UFO crash? No one can answer that question even today. Since the 1970s, cemetery management has received several requests to exhume the grave of the pilot who died in 1987, but they have all been denied. The UFO on the cover of Time May 11, 1950 one of the most controversial and widely discussed alien sightings was obtained in May 1950 near McMinnville, Oregon. A housewife named Evelyn looked out her window and noticed a slowly moving metal disc in the sky. She called her husband, Paul Trent, and asked him to capture the strange phenomenon on his camera. Subsequently, this picture appeared in the magazine Time and caused a fierce debate between ufologists and skeptics. In particular, Journalists Philip J. Class and Robert Schiffer succeeded in proving that the Trents lied about the time of day the photo was taken. How do we know they didn't falsify something else? The whistleblower reporters declared victoriously. Ufologists, however, were not impressed by this argument, continuing to insist that the footage was authentic. Strands of Angel's Hair Falling from Heaven October 27, 1954 on this fall day in 1954, some 10,000 soccer fans gathered at the Artemio Franchi Stadium in Florence. They watched with excitement the game between the famous Fiorentina and its local rival Pistoies. But suddenly there was silence in the stands and thousands of eyes rose into the sky. The match also came to a halt. Players from both teams stood on the field, pointing their fingers up. Among them was Artico Magni, the famous Italian soccer player who represented the country at the 1954 World Cup. I remember everything from A to Z. He said later about what he saw at the stadium. It was something like a huge egg that slowly sailed over our heads. Everyone was looking up. 
and there were silver threads coming down from the sky. These silver threads were found on the roofs of houses and on trees for several days, but they somehow disintegrated when they came into contact with human skin. Local journalists poetically called this phenomenon strands of hair of angels. Scientists have put forward a less beautiful theory. They have suggested that these are threads woven by migrating spiders. However, as their colleagues at the Institute of Chemical Analysis of the University of Florence concluded, the strands of angel hair contained elements such as boron, silicon, calcium, and magnesium, which cannot be part of the organic spider web. The Keckberg Incident and Military Intervention December 9, 1965 In 1965, a giant space acorn landed in the woods near Kecksburg, Pennsylvania. At least that's what the townspeople and firefighters who first discovered the craft told us. The alien object was believed to be about the size of a car, and its fuselage was covered in symbols resembling Egyptian hieroglyphics. However, according to local residents, they did not have time to carefully examine the UFO. Suddenly there was a noise of heavy equipment, and several trucks drove into the scene from which armed military personnel began to get out. They cordoned off the perimeter and sent the onlookers home. In the late afternoon, they loaded something into the trucks and drove off. The military later denied taking any evidence from the scene. Curiously enough, the next morning, the local Greensburg Tribune Review newspaper published an article confirming the UFO landing and the military's intervention. A few days later, however, a denial of this information was printed, despite the testimony of dozens of eyewitnesses. The Chase, April 6, 1966. That day is forever in the history of Westall High School. For then, the cause of the disruption of all classes was a phenomenon that still remains unexplained to this day. 200 Australian students and teachers froze in amazement as a saucer-shaped flying machine cleared the air southwest of the main building and then disappeared behind the trees near the sports stadium. Then something even stranger happened. Several fighter planes appeared from behind the horizon and followed the trajectory of the UFO. The sensational incident was reported in all Australian newspapers, and numerous witnesses willingly shared their impressions of what they had seen. Interesting fact. According to the local Moorabbin Airport and representatives of the Royal Australian Air Force, no aircraft was near Westall School on the morning of April 6. Still, how could 200 witnesses be wrong at once? Skeptics believe it wasn't a mistake at all, but a blunder of the eye. School children and teachers could have seen a nylon target, like a windsock, being towed by one plane to chase another. In those days, similar drills were often conducted by the British Air Force. But why would the military do it over a school? And then deny the whole thing? Lights in the Hudson Valley, March 24, 1983. In the mid-1980s, America was gripped by alien fever. About 5,000 witness accounts of UFO sightings were recorded in four years in New York City alone. But the most significant event of that period occurred on March 24, 1983. At the time, hundreds of residents of the Hudson Valley saw the same flying object in the sky at the same time. They said that a V-shaped craft illuminated by many lights was hovering above them. It flew over a nuclear reactor, then headed for the reservoirs. The stories of local residents who encountered UFOs that night were collected in the book Night Siege. The Hudson Valley UFO Sightings in particular, one witness described his impression of what he saw. If there is such a thing as a flying city, this was it. Skeptics put forward the version that people in the Hudson Valley witnessed not UFOs, but the collision of two Air Force planes in the sky. This, however, sounds even less plausible than the eyewitness stories. Alien Delegation, March 13, 1997. On March 13, 1997, Perhaps the most massive incident involving UFOs occurred. That night, residents of Nevada, USA, Arizona, USA, and Sonora, Mexico, reported an alien delegation flying over their heads. They observed both stationary and moving lights in the sky. However, what struck them most was the glowing triangular-shaped ship leading the delegation. This flying object appeared in many pictures and caused a public outcry. It soon became clear that there was nothing alien about the lights that lit up the sky that night. 
The U.S. military said that on March 13, 1997, several flares were fired from a base near Phoenix, which were seen by residents of the United States and Mexico. However, the triangular UFO is still a mystery to both military and ordinary people. Fireballs over Texas January 8, 2008 In early 2008, fireballs of light streaked through the air over the plains of Texas. First I saw a yellow-red ball, the color of volcanic lava, recalled Constable Lee Roy Gayton of Dublin, Texas. Then, instead of red orbs, there were nine or ten flashing lights in the air. They were very bright and hovered at about 3,000 feet, bouncing slightly. For two to three minutes they hovered in the air, flashing like German car headlights. And then they sprinted out of the air at breakneck speed, like a school of frightened fish. For the first few days after the incident, the U.S. Air Force denied conducting any training exercises on January 8, although many witnesses reported military planes chasing the lights. But on January 23, Air Force officials changed their testimony, admitting that 10 fighter jets did conduct training flights near Stephenville. Needless to say, there are still many conspiracy theories surrounding this incident. What did you think of it? Write in the comments. Be sure to get likes, subscribe to our channel, and check out other amazing stories.